This is an infrared sensor-based object detector. It detects any object within a specific range of the sensor and blinks the LED to indicate the object's presence. Let's see how. Let's see the components required. We will need an infrared sensor, Arduino Uno, some connecting wires, and an LED. Let's zoom into the infrared sensor. This is what the infrared sensor module looks like. It has three pins two for power and ground and one for the digital output. At the other end of the sensor, we have the sensing element. We have an infrared transmitter LED and the other one is an infrared sensing diode. And here we have a potentiometer to vary the threshold. The infrared LED outputs an infrared beam of light. If any object comes in front of it, then that object reflects some light rays. This reflected light is detected by the black colored LED shaped detector. We will connect jumper wires to the infrared sensor module. This sensor has three pins, VCC, ground, and output. The VCC wire will be connected to A plus 5 volts pin, and the ground pin will be connected to the ground pins of the board. The output pin will be connected to the digital pin 1 of the board. Let's connect the LED to the board. The LED is connected with a resistor in series to restrict the current flowing through it. So, it will have two wires, one from the anode, which will be connected to the digital pin 10 of the board, and the other will be the cathode, which will be connected to the ground pin of the board. As we have connected all the components together, now it's time to upload the code. After uploading the code, we can see that the infrared sensor is able to detect the object in front of it, and send a signal to Arduino, which then flips the state of the LED with the logic that is programmed into it. We have refined the code a little bit, and changed the logic, to turn the LED on, and off. Now, whenever an object comes in front of the sensor, the LED turns off, otherwise, it remains on. This project and the infrared sensor have many applications, it can and is being used at many places as a proximity sensor or object detector. That's all for now. See you again with more robotic technologies. Robotics every day.